Hello, dear viewer, and welcome to another episode of the Catholic League Forum. I'm Mike McDonald, Director of Communications at the Catholic League, and joining me today is President and CEO of the Catholic League, Bill Donahue. Uh, so, Bill, uh, we've got some really great stuff to talk about today for our dear viewer here, uh, because on Monday, uh, January, what was that, 23rd, we released uh, our documentary, uh, Walt's Disenchanted Kingdom. Uh, it's available on our website. You can also find it on Amazon. Uh, Salem Now has it up as well. Uh, YouTube, Rumble, uh, so all the places, but definitely do check it out on our website, catholicleague.org. We'll have a link in the description below. Uh, but Bill, this, you know, our uh, dear viewer probably doesn't know what goes into making a documentary, and this wasn't just something you woke up with back in December. Uh, a lot of time and energy and effort, uh, blood, sweat, and tears went into making this. Uh, so where did this uh, start? What was the original uh, reason why you decided to do well, this? Well, uh, first I like to give credit where credit is due, unlike some other people in this world. Uh, Jason Meath was the guy who put this thing together for us. And if you're ever looking for somebody to do a first-class production, Jason Meath yeah. is the one I'd recommend. He's not only a great guy, he does professional work. You know, it was about a year ago that Governor DeSantis in Florida uh, said, listen, things are going too far with this trans transgenderism. You know, they're getting to kids in kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. That's, that's ages five through eight. I taught those little kids. Uh, and let me tell you something. These kids here, they're just learning the alphabet. They're learning numerics, okay? Uh, they're learning a little bit about citizenship. They're learning to get along with each other. What, they're, what they wanted to do in the schools is to question them. Are you happy being a boy? Maybe you should be a girl. If you're a girl, are you happy being a boy? They were putting the seeds into these, he these kids' heads. This is quite frankly evil, that you would take a little child and say to him, are you happy with your sex? Maybe we can transition you. That's the real truth about this. It had nothing to do with gay bashing and all the other lies that have been told about right. it. Disney should have stayed out of it, or they should have joined the side of DeSantis saying, we're a family-friendly institution. They took the side to undermine parental rights. They didn't want the parents to have the right to say, the state can't do this. And at that point, when I read about this, like so many other people, I wrote a letter to, on April the 8th to Bob Chapek, who at that time was the CEO, and I first contacted my friend Tony Perkins, who's a major evangelical leader, the head of Family Research Council. I said, Tony, would you join with me? Maybe we'll go down to Florida and meet with Chapek? He goes, fine. So I wrote the letter, very nice letter, nothing bombastic about it, just asking, listen, you've listened to one side, we represent Catholic and Protestant uh, segments of the population. Uh, we'd like to sit down with you. They wouldn't answer us. So, so much for the idea of inclusion. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's their fifth goal, they say. Yeah, they excluded Tony and me. That's what I decided, we gotta do something. I don't wanna do it just on another news release or something of that, write about it in Catalyst or Monthly Journal. I wanna do something more tangible. Nobody has done a documentary exposing what has happened to D Disney, starting out as a great family-friendly uh, entertainment industry, and now becoming the enemy of, of the family, right. undercutting parental rights. That was the impetus behind why we decided to do the documentary. Yeah, and you know, this is something that you've definitely been involved with, uh, going back to 95 was your first yes. run with Disney. Uh, and it seems that's when Disney uh, started to lose its way. We all have these fond memories of the the Disney classics and how pro family they were, right. and uh, you know, really. And they still have some good fare. And yeah, yeah, every now and then, it's a lot harder <laughs> to find these days. Right. Um, and so, in like beginning of the '90s, they really started to lose their way. But in the last couple of years, last five yeah. years, they've yeah. they've really gone off the deep end. And uh, the Walt Disenchanted Kingdom really goes through uh, and brings in a lot of big power players. Uh, you're prominently featured in there. Uh, we also have uh, Tony Perkins, as you mentioned, Ben Carson, uh, former secretary Ben Carson, uh, Miranda Devine, who she was great, uh, a couple of other people I, I know. Vivek Ramashami. Vivek Ramashami. Brent Bochet. Brent uh, Bozell, another uh, one. Hosted by Mercedes Schlapp. Mercedes Schlapp. Uh, my, my Jewish friend, uh, David Horowitz. David Horowitz. Uh, Christian uh, Toto from yep. uh, Will Witt. Will Witt. So like a lot yeah. of good, uh, a lot of good, lot of really solid people. people in there. Yep. Uh, that really examine everything. Uh, particularly though, looking at some of the just really vile fare that they have. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the scene that probably stands out the most in my mind is uh, the one of the the Baymax cartoon that they have streaming on Disney Plus mm -hmm. of a robot trying to buy tampons, and there's yeah. a transgender individual uh, talking to them, recommending what type of tampons they should get. And uh, the shocking thing is, 
that conversation even about tampons is for uh, targeted at four year olds. Yeah, yeah. And the thing is that you know, Iger, who is now the CEO, he was yeah. the CEO before Chapek. They brought him back. He tried to undermine Chapek. That's not my opinion. Uh, you just read about it out there. Uh, and so he got his job back. That's what he wanted. So he he came out and said, oh, about a year ago, that what what DeSantis is doing with the transgender kids. There's going to be all kinds of threats of violence and everything else that's going to make life difficult for them. So where's the evidence? There's nobody beating up on transgender. Well, this whole thing is a myth. You find one guy here and there. I can find a lot more than one or two. I live in New York City right here where our offices are. You can see what's out there in the street, okay? Uh, and let me tell you something. This whole idea of demagoging Christians, that's what this is about, that somehow we're the intolerant ones we're not the intolerant ones. They are the intolerant ones for shoving this thing down our throats to get to little kids at, at a young age. And then they wonder why we take umbrage at it and there's a blowback. Well, of course, it's yeah. called time out. We, we, we don't want to have the politics of, of the left, the woke politics shoved down our throats. And quite frankly, we just think people should be agnostic when it comes to the entertainment industry and sports regarding uh, uh, politics. You don't have to be pro-abortion or, 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 or pro-life. Just simply go, go and sell your fare. D deal, deal with your own brand. But this is, this is, uh, this is more than just a, a creeping situation. Right. It, it's, it's happening at a gallop pace all across America. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Walt's Disenchanted Kingdom also takes a look at not just uh, you know, Mothership Disney, but also uh, some of the stuff that's going on at ESPN. Uh, but another thing I, uh, that you brought up that I think is uh, also another uh, really interesting aspect of the documentary is uh, they do force this on American consumers. American right. Christians have to endure this. Uh, but, you know, especially under Iger, they're quite happy to censor themselves uh, in the Chinese market. Yep. They just got that deal to show the Marvel movies there. Uh, and also in uh, Middle Eastern countries where they wouldn't show uh, the Buzz Lightyear movie uh, that came out last year that showed uh, the lesbian kissing scene uh, in an animated show for a movie for children. Uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, and they'll censor in those countries. But here in the United States, uh, Christians have to uh, endure this. I, I always jokingly say, when I have kids, if it's not allowed to be shown in Saudi Arabia, we're probably not watching it in my house. <laughs> right. Well, it's true. I mean, the, the Muslim-run nations and the communist Chinese are, are given deference. Yeah. All right? they get, they're given a pass because they know that they don't want it. Uh, quite frankly, that really begs the question, so whose kids is, is it good for our kids, it's good for, but you wouldn't. You, you're not going to. You're not going to. You're not going to shove it down the throats of the Muslims or the red Chinese because they just tell you we don't want it. Uh, so you know, there's more than money involved here. This is ideology. They're selling an ideology. The ideology is this: truth doesn't exist, nature doesn't exist, God doesn't exist. Everything is fluid. Everything is a social construct. Everything, all that is a lie. There is such a thing as human nature. It doesn't change throughout history. It never will change. There are hundreds of so-called hum human universals, properties, attributes of the human being, which are true in all societies throughout all of history. So don't tell me that human nature is fluid and it can be changed. You, you have chromosomes. The male has the chromosomes. The woman has the chromosomes. And even if they, they go through the transgender surgery, by the way, they can't change the chromosomes, okay? Yeah. This idea of a transgender person, in fact, is a myth. You're either male or you're female. You may aspire to be anything you want to be. Uh, you can aspire to be a gorilla for that matter. And in your own mind, you may believe that. In which case, you, you either have to go to the academy or to the asylum. There's not much difference between the two of them these days. No, unfortunately, there's not. And, you know, Bill, you brought up a lot of good points there. And, you know, you talk very eloquently to uh, those points in the documentary uh, and some of the other people. But we also have other people that complement that as well, looking at uh, trends at Disney in terms of uh, what they've been putting out uh, mm -hmm. and other trends largely in the, the Hollywood film industry. Uh, we've got people that can talk to the insider baseball of... Uh, the corporate world, because uh, Disney is one of the largest corporations in the world. Uh, so it's a very nice, well-rounded piece, and you know, depending on whatever you're interested in, uh, especially on the subject of the woke culture being influenced by uh, big corporations, big money, uh, big Hollywood, big Disney, uh, you'll find something of uh, real good value in this. And it's 50 minutes long, so 50 minutes, a little less than an hour. Give yourself the time to see it. Uh, I'm not just saying because because I'm, I'm you know executive producer 
Jason Meath is the, was the genius behind putting it all together and packaging it. It's a first class production. I, I, I did yeah. not want to do this on the cheap. And if you're going to do something like this and take on Disney, um, then you, you really have to spend the right money. And now, I'd say one other final thing here. There's no such thing as an iron law in history. History changes. People change. Will Disney change? I don't know. Why did we do this? In part, to, it, it's a cultural marker. We wanted people to understand what's going on. But yes, I think that if there's enough blowback, if Disney realizes that the bottom line for them, which is money, it's also ideology, though. Uh, if this is really alienating many Americans, and a lot of those, those crazy movies they've been putting out uh, that exploit the kids, that they haven't done well in the box yeah. office, I'm hoping that we can add to that and that perhaps they can tap the brakes, reconsider, and get back to their moorings. Uh, this idea, when, they're not selling tolerance. Please, don't believe that. What they're selling here is an idea that there's no such thing as human nature and everybody can change with just like a piece of putty. That's a very dangerous concept and it's already screwed up the lives of God knows how many Americans, including adults. And if you want to do that to yourself, that's your business. You don't ever put your hands on the kids and try to manipulate them. Right, absolutely. And just one last little thought here, Bill. Uh, you mentioned this was a, a top notch production and it absolutely is and it is getting a lot of attention oh yeah uh, in the media you've been doing media all week uh you're doing uh, some media oh, this yeah. afternoon uh, you did uh next what, week is next this week is going to be around for a on. while but it is getting a lot of attention a lot of people are talking mm -hmm. about it and we don't want you to miss out dear right. viewers so do check it out uh probably the easiest place to find it is uh catholicleague.org uh, or since you're already here on youtube or rumble uh you just go to our channel pages there and find it there uh, Salem Now has it as well, and uh, you can purchase it on Amazon.com, uh, uh, Amazon Prime. Uh, so this is the best place. We had a bunch of other things, but obviously Disney is eating up a lot of the week. So do check out the website, CatholicLeague.org. Uh, we had a couple of other big issues going on this week that you probably do want to know about. Uh, so check that out. We'll make sure we have the links to the news releases in the description below. And as always, if you can give this video a like and subscribe, uh, that helps us get the, the message out and get uh, more people to see our content, like the... Walt's Disenchanted Kingdom documentary. Exactly. So uh, thank you for watching and thanks, Bill. Thank you.